just in time for new bins to come out. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've put together a scavenger hunt, a Goodwill Bins scavenger hunt, where I am sending my featured members that wanna participate out to find 10 items at their Goodwill outlet store. This is gonna be so fun. All of the links will be in the description of the video for everyone participating. You can also use hashtag bins 10. You can put that up in the YouTube search bar to find it. This is a challenge, so we need you guys to vote. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch all the videos and then you're gonna come back to my video and you are going to vote in the comments. I'm gonna add it all up. Whoever wins is gonna get a thrifted prize from all of the people that did not win to open on their channel. So be sure you're subscribing to all the channels participating. Thanks so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, let's see what we can find in the bins today. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about this challenge. I cannot wait to see what everybody else gets. So the first item I'm about to find, I'll tell you a little story, it's right here. I picked the entire thing up, it's a crafter's lot. So I am using this as my craft item. These are the items that I pulled out of it to list. There's also quite a few items that I did not keep that are, um, I did a video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel if you wanna see everything that was in that plastic container. So my question for you is, would you have dumped out the plastic container and just picked the goodies? Because it is by weight. So I probably paid Sorry. way more than I needed to, but I thought it would be like a little mystery unboxing for my Sourcing with Lolo Buddies channel. So it ended up paying off. I found some really great stuff, as you saw. Now the next thing is this bag of headbands. And I already had somebody message me wanting me to part it out. They only wanted to buy like three or four. And I said, no. And that was over on Poshmark. I'm only going to sell it as a lot. So what I recommend you do in that situation is tell the person that they can buy it. And then they can keep what they want and sell the rest. This I picked up. It is super soft leather, super nice. You can see it is all scuffed up. I was able to get that baby clean and I am gonna put a video on one of my channels showing how I did that. This was a toolbox. I did grab that little saw and if you wanna see the entire uncut footage of this video, I have it over on my other channel and I will pop up screen shares of everything I got. So I bought a bunch, but in this video, I'm only gonna show you the items that I picked up for this challenge. Some of the items you see me put in my cart, I kept, some of them I put back. So on that other video, you can see everything that I actually listed. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, leave me a comment that says I'm new here and let me know how you found the channel. There's lots of people participating in this Ben's 10 challenge. So would love to know how you came about the video. All right, let's see. Cute little dinosaur. I always look at dinosaurs. Some of those dinosaurs can go for big money. Most of them are bread and butter and some are not even worth picking up, but definitely look them up if you see them. I cannot believe how many items I picked up this day. I did pick up that paper thinking it might have decent comps, like if it went to a specific binder or something like that, but it didn't. All right, games. So if the games are not sealed, I don't typically pick them up unless it is a game that is rare, hard to find, or I know comps out really high and I can part it out. There is a caribou game that I will buy even if it is incomplete and I will part it out because those do really well. I did buy that Bop It and for now, I'm hanging on to it because it is so fun. Um, I was getting it ready to list and I was doing um, a video on my reseller testing Bolo products channel and I'm like, I may do a couple of these videos before I sell it, but it'll eventually be in my eBay store. That little goody hair thing, super cute, new in the package. I pretty much 
pick up new old stock stuff when I see it, even if it's a bread and butter because it's new old stock. That's just a little tip. I don't mind selling bread and butter. I know a lot of people shy away from it, but you will see me going back and going over the sections that I already went over looking for the bread and butter bolos. I'm good with that. It all adds up. And some of these things are so lightweight. If I can turn a quarter into $15, I'm really happy with that. Now, sure, would I like to turn a dollar into 50? Yes, most definitely. This was a good pickup. You can see what I listed that for on the other video. All right, let's see. This is my media. This is not great. It's a bread and butter, but I had to get something, right? I can't wait to see what everybody else got. You guys, it is not easy to walk in to the bins and try to find 10 items. This is the Golden Girls. And I opened it up and it was still sealed on the inside. So I'm like, the Golden Girls, oh, this is going to be great. No, nope, it wasn't that great. It was a bread and butter. Hopefully it sells. I did put all of these items on Mercari and Poshmark. I do cross post my items with... Uh, list perfectly. If you guys want to check out how that works, there is a video uh, linked down in the description. And if you are interested, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. What I say about cross posting is you're going to get more eyes on your items and different eyes. Those headbands, I just have a feeling that those are going to sell on Poshmark. We'll have to wait it out and see, but that's just what my gut says. All right, these little horses, super cool. Again, check out that uncut version. I hate it because I can't talk to you guys about the items that aren't a part of the challenge. So we're only focusing on the 10 items. And I'll do a recap at the end of the video just to kind of go over those 10 items, if I found all 10, that is. That's another big question. Will everybody get all 10? It should be interesting. This video was 38 minutes long originally. So I trimmed it down because I know you guys have a lot of videos to watch. So we are at about 15 minutes for the entire video here. I did ask the question as to if you guys like longer videos or shorter videos for the bins and you know i got a lot of different responses some of you said you just want to see what i picked up and others said at least 45 minutes so that is why i've decided to split it up between the two channels all right let's see I'm trying to remember which other category is next oh i find a really great item Okay, this guy sold fast. I sold him on Mercari. So again, no interest on eBay or Poshmark right away, but sold fast on Mercari. So again, that's why I cross post. So that plush sold. There's one other item that I picked up for this challenge that also sold, and we're going to get to that here soon. Super exciting when things sell fast. And there's another item right here it is. Oh my goodness. I found one of these... I think it was in my last Ben's video or the one before that, and it sold super quick. That is actually the third one I've sold. The other two, I believe I got at garage sales. But when I found another one on this trip today, I could not believe it. So definitely a fantastic bolo, that Coda pillar, always pick them up. Here's the head. I was so excited that I found the head, but you can still list those even if they don't have all of the parts like if that would have just been the body i still would have picked that up or if i just found the head i would have sold them individually as replacement parts i'm one of those people that will definitely part things out you'll see that on my channel a lot um sometimes you can just make more money doing it that way all right we still have to get a book look how full my cart is i'm not kidding you i bought so much stuff over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, check out the uncut version. All right, so I pick up, well, I don't want to give it away, right there. That was one, and then I found another one. 
and another one. So I decided to lot these up as my book. Uh, quite a few listed on eBay. I don't have a complete set. It's probably going to be more of a long tail item, but that's okay. I was really happy to find a book because books are kind of out of my wheelhouse and something I threw into this challenge to not only challenge me, but hopefully somebody else that's doing this challenge. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like this type of video? Uh, these challenges because I can definitely incorporate more into the channel with my featured members. Super fun way to connect with others and check out new channels. All right, so there's an item coming up very soon that is completely unexpected. I bet most of you are not going to know about it and it sold super fast. So stay tuned for that. It is my vintage item. That is a big phone book. Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, oh my goodness, she sells vintage phone books for big money. Check out her YouTube channel to learn more about that. And she should be in this Ben's challenge also. That was cool. It was like a, a learning educational thing. It was an artery. It was really cool. I did buy it. Spoiler, spoiler alert. All right. Um, we're going to get to this item. I assure you we are going to get there. Tapes. I didn't really dig too deep into those. They are typically bread and butter unless you can find them new and sealed. Here it is, you guys. There's my vintage item. I sold those for $32 plus shipping. The shipping um, was a medium flat rate box. It was going to California. It was like $16. So they had almost $50 in those items crazy. All right, that was nine out of 10 items. Okay, let's see how I did. Here's a little recap. Okay, so my crafter's lot right here, that plastic tote had these items in it, which I feel fantastic about. I was really excited about that brooch. Already have some people watching it over on Mercari. The clothing and accessory item already had somebody trying to get me to separate it. The purse or the backpack, whatever this thing is, turned out amazing. The media, yeah, it's okay. That'll be long tail. This will also probably be a long tail item, but hey, I, I completed the task, right? This guy, my plush is my toy. He already sold on Mercari. And this one is something with batteries, the Caterpillar, which is one of my favorite bolos. And the books... And the last item is my vintage item, which already sold for $32 plus shipping. Okay, Bolo Buddies. So my Goodwill Benz is $1.79 a pound, and I think books are 59 cents a pound. So as you watch the video, I popped up everything that I ended up getting for this challenge. I got nine out of 10 items. I found some really fantastic stuff that I did not show in this video, so head over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel to check out the uncut version. It will probably be released tomorrow. Um, so nine out of 10 items. I think I did pretty good. Um, I didn't get any shoes, so womp womp. I have a really hard time with shoes. I always think they're too dirty or I don't wanna clean them. Really, I just, want something that is ready to list. So I skipped the shoes. I probably should have grabbed something just so I had something for the challenge. So I know I'm going to get points taken off for that. But um, oh well. Uh, head on over to the other channels. Again, they're all linked down in the description. This is super fun. I think the video was about 38 minutes. So you're going to see a lot of uncut footage over on my other channel. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Be sure to vote by May 14th in the description of this video. So go check out the other videos, write down the channel you're watching, and come back and vote for who you think found the best 10 items. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for.
amazing, right? All right, let's get started.